Hello everyone, let's start with question number 3. It says draw the graph of the equation x equals 3, x equals y and 2x minus y minus 4 equals 0. Also find the area of the coordinator formed by the lines and the x-axis. So, now we have given that x equals 3 hai and x equals 5. These two are simple values and we have to direct x-axis. Then we have the third equation as 2x minus y minus 4. So we can redefine it and write it as 2x minus y equal 4. Now we have to make a table so that we can put the values on the graph. So I will take first x as 0. If my x is 0, it will be y will be minus 4. Now if I take x as 1, so my y value will be minus 2. Then if I take x as 2, so 2 into 2 is 4. Then if I bring this 4 here, so it will be 4 minus 4 equals 0. So 2 comma 0. Then if I take 3, 3 will be 6. 6 will come here, it will be minus. So it will be 2 here. Now if I take the last one, I will be taking it as 4. So 2 into 4 is 8. And 4 minus 8 is minus 4 and minus minus gets cancelled out. So it will be 4 only. So these are my coordinates for the third equation. Now we will put these values into the graph paper and then find the area of the coordinate formed by the lines and the x-axis. So let's mark these points on the graph paper. So first of all we need to mark x as 3. So I will mark it here. Then it has x equal 5. So I will mark it here. Now now marking all the points we have for the third equation. So first is 2 comma 0. I will mark 2 comma 0 first and it will be on x axis. Then we have 3 comma 2. 3 comma 2 will lie here. Then we have 4 comma 4. So it will lie somewhere here. I will take one more part of it. I will take 5 as point. So 2 into 5 is 10. 4 minus 10 is minus 6. So it will be 6. So now I will mark 5 comma 6. So 5 comma 6 is somewhere here. Now we need to join this line and find out the value for C. So the first line is x equals 3. So I will mark, mark it like this. Just a second. So mark for x equals 3 and mark for x equals 5. Now you can clearly see a figure of coordinate here. It is here. I will mark this. Now we need to find the area of this figure. So I will mark this as point A, B, C, D. So my two parallel lines of this trapezium is AD and BC. So it will be half sum of parallel sides. It is AD plus BC into height. Height is equivalent to the one which is perpendicular to the base. So it will be AB here. Now it is half AD. AD is AD is still point 2. Then we have BC as 6, 2 plus 6 into AB. The difference between 3 and 5 is 2. So height is so we have half 2 plus 6, 2 plus 6 is 8, 8 plus this is 2, now 2 and 2 gets cancelled out, we have 8. So answer for this is 8 square units. So area of this quadrilateral is 8 square units. So that's your answer for question number 3.